The supply chain crisis is already being felt in the Midlands. Local business owners are taking the hit, saying they're struggling to get stock. News 19's Eleanor Tabone tells us more. The nation's ports are at capacity. Volumes are up about 15 to 20 percent as compared to 2019. Containers piling up. This time last year, if I counted all the loaded containers, the imports and exports and the empty containers on our terminal, it was probably about 40,000. Today it's about 60,000. Ships come in to the port of Charleston. Average is eight days today for pickup. It should normally be four days. And then once it's picked up, it, the container's out for 15 days when it, when it should normally be eight days. But it's taking days for the products you may have ordered to leave. They have to leave the cargo in containers. And that means they stack up on our terminals. Jim Newsom, president and CEO of the South Carolina State Ports Authority, says the pressure on the supply chain is due to trucking and labor shortages and distribution capacity. The importers are buying record amounts of goods from, from China and other Asian sourcing locations. We need a guitar, we'll have it here in a week for you kind of thing. And now we've had to order for years out. Justin Sims, owner of Sims Music, says he can't get acoustic guitars. We've got hundreds and hundreds on order and hopefully they'll show up soon. On back order, well into the future. Some of them are not even expected to be here until 2023, maybe 2024. Anything from Europe uh, seems to be very, very difficult to get. Steve Cook, owner of Saluda's restaurant, is also feeling the strain. For our particular restaurant, you know, we, we sparkling water from France and some, some French wines. The solution. We've got to address some key things such as the number of truck drivers, the, the age of the chassis fleet. I don't think it's going away anytime soon and uh, if anything, it's going to get a, a whole lot worse. In Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19 WLTX. And as Jim Newsom just mentioned, the country is dealing with a truck driver shortage. The Biden administration says they're working with states now to get those trucking licenses out faster.